Hey everyone, Josh here again. Do you ever have a problem with walking up to somebody after church and you can't think of something to talk about? Well, don't worry because this week I'm gonna give you 10 wonderful talking topics that will definitely work for you in a pinch. Number one, if it wasn't already obvious, talk about the sermon that just happened. Ask what your friend got out of it. Discuss some of the truths. Challenge each other on what you can work on through the next week. Today, I've recruited two wonderful staff members here at the fellowship to show us how to put these prompts into action. Meet Heath and Aaron. Hey, man. Hey, hey. How are you? Doing great. It's good to see you out here. Good to see you. What did you think of the sermon today? Oh, it was great. I loved the part where Pastor Chris said that we need to be more like Jesus. Yeah, I really hope you were taking notes during that part. I was. Good. Okay, make sure you encourage one another as well, okay? So after you've discussed a little bit about what you've learned that morning, move on to the next obvious talking point. Number two, because they can almost qualify as fashion statements now, compliment each other on how good your mask is looking today. Aaron, I really love your mask today. It's just so you. Oh, I know, I love yours. Where'd you get it? I actually got it from the box inside. Oh, me too. All right, now that you've gotten that out of the way, make sure that you talk about the next obvious topic. And honestly, if you haven't already talked to somebody about this today, I would question what kind of person you actually are. Talk about the weather. Everybody's got to fit the weather in there somewhere. Keith, how is it sunny outside? We're under a tent with umbrellas and you're still soaking wet. Not really sure. Next, show some care and concern and ask your friend about their family. How's your family doing? It can really connect you guys better on a deeper level and show some real Christian fellowship. So, Keith, how's your sister these days? Aaron, you, you do know I don't have a sister, right? Sat next to each other for like a year now? Look, man, I didn't write the script for this video. I just gotta come up with the content somehow. What video? Never mind. Well, how's your sister doing? Eh, she's fine. Well, cool. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's move on to work. How's work going? Show a genuine interest on what this person does for a very big part of their life. Hey Heath, how are things going at work for you? Man, things have been going really well. I have this guy, and I've been trying to evangelize him for about a year now. He, he, he's got a man bun and a beard. What's his name? His name's Aaron. Heath, that's me. Oh yeah, we sit right next to each other. Perfect, now we're at halftime. The first five were basically just obligatory niceties that you might want to mention on a Sunday morning. But now we get to the important stuff. Number six, what is for lunch? Hey Heath, what do you want to do for lunch today? I was thinking about doing wallies. Ooh, wallies. Wallies. Wait, you mean the wallies on 150 in Lehman? Yeah, that wallies. Yeah, wallies. Not sponsored by wallies. Perfect, now that you know where you're going for lunch, now you can make plans for the rest of the week to spend some time with this person and build some good community. Number seven is to make plans to hang out with your friend this week. Hey Heath, you wanna come over to my house tonight and watch the game? Sure, our sports back? Yeah dude, the 2014 Bundesliga finals are on tonight. All right, sounds good, can I bring my roommate? Totally. Awesome. Nice. Now, as you head out to your cars to get back on the road, make sure that you give one last good compliment to them. Why don't we compliment their fashion choice for that day? Aaron, I really love your mask today. It's just so you. Oh, I know. I love yours. Where'd you get it? I actually got it from the box inside. Oh. Whoa. Did you feel that? <sighs> Deja vu. Yeah. Now for number nine. Did you know that Fellowship Church has some complimentary water bottles that you can snag on your way out to your car? Yes, that's true. Grab one on your way out to your car. Heath, did you get a water bottle yet? No, I didn't. Whoa, is this FC's new line of water? Totally, it's delicious. Whoa, this water is so good. Really? That was so refreshing. It looks like you could use another water bottle. Sure. Thanks. After you've gotten some of your quality refreshment, we're gonna end with number 10. As you bid farewell to your comrade, don't forget to extend one last offer of genuine care because we are a caring community for goodness sake. So Heath, uh, is there anything I can be praying for you about this week? 
Yeah, man, there's actually a lot of people in our church who are struggling right now, so could you be praying for them? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, remember that prayer is always important and encouraging. So yes, be sure to spend some quality time out on the patio tomorrow morning after the services. The Greenwood campus services are at 8, 9.30, 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. The Raymore campus is at 11 a.m. And the online services are always at 8, 9.30, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Streamable live on our YouTube channel, website, and Facebook. We are so excited to see you there. And until next time, I think I'm gonna go refresh myself with a water bottle right about now. See you later.